Good old fashioned regular celery. Apium Gravia Lens, the type you find at your local market. If you're growing from seed, plant about six seeds to the punnet. Just cover, then place the punnets in a low container of water. You see, in nature, celery is a marshland plant, so the seeds like constant moisture. But once the seedlings emerge, remove the punnet from the tray. Otherwise, the roots may rot and you might lose the seedlings. And then, in five to six weeks' time, they'll look like these ones here, and they'll be ready to plant out. But before we start, growing celery takes a bit of commitment because it's quite demanding. Are you ready to commit? Well, okay, let's go. For celery seedlings to thrive, you need full sun and a deep, fertile soil. I'm feeding up this patch soil with some delicious homemade compost. I'm just creating some trenches, about 30 centimetres apart. The thing with the trenches is, is the water will tend to sit in them and give the plant that moisture it needs to stay sweet. And I'll be spacing the plants about 20 to 30 centimetres apart. Planting depth is very important. Don't go too deep. Keep the crowns above the surface of the soil. And celery dislikes extreme heat and extreme cold. So planting in early spring or early autumn is your best bet. If you're growing your celery for the first time, you might notice that your plants are a little bit greener and a little bit more spread out than what you see at the shops. That's because commercial growers will actually blanch their plants by wrapping it in something. Now, this is a bit of hard work and can cause a few pest and disease problems. So my advice is just go for a self-blanching variety. Now these will be ready to harvest in about 14 weeks, which is quite a long time. But the beauty about celery is once they come on, you can harvest the exact number of stems you need. You don't need to rip the plant out. In fact, you can cut them almost to the ground and they'll regrow from the base. These are a biennial plant, so they'll usually give you a harvest for about 12 months before they go to seed. However, if they do get stressed, usually through lack of water, they will bolt and go to seed, and then they're done. But the silver lining is, the flowers are gorgeous, and the seed is edible. The next type of celery I want to show you is a variation on regular celery called peppermint stick. It's exactly the same as the common stuff, but it has pink red stems and is less inclined to bolt and go to seed. The last type of celery I'm putting in today is Chinese celery, otherwise known as leaf celery. It's a perennial, so it'll keep coming back year after year. The stems are smaller, but they've got a really strong flavor and the leaf is used as a herb. I'm putting in two, just to finish off the bed. It's quite happy in the same conditions as regular celery, but we'll also cope with less water and fertiliser, and we'll even handle some shade. By the way, if you don't have much room, celery is quite happy in a pot, as long as it has about a 10 litre volume or more, and you need to keep the water up to it. I add extra compost to the potting mix to increase the water holding capacity. Now, the quicker your celery grows, the sweeter it will be. So I apply a liquid organic fertiliser that's high in nitrogen, like fish emulsion, every fortnight. So whether you take the challenge of growing regular celery, Chinese celery, or some of our native forms, I reckon you're gonna have a good time doing it. See you next time.